What's up guys, Andrew here on my channel Geared Inc, where I get to show what I'm passionate about with you. And on my channel, that's PC Tech, Games, and Gear. And today we're talking about a little piece of uh, news, basically, or rumor news, I should say, out of the bin. But before I go over that, um, thank you for everyone who subscribed and supported my channel. I'm sorry I haven't been able to post. If you can't tell, I've been sick for the last couple of days in conjunction with being out of town for the holidays. So um, thanks for all your patience. I'm going to get back to posting more consistent content. However, right now I look like I got beat up by a gorilla, so I'm not going to be having my camera on me. But here's a quick snapshot of a handsome picture of me in case you forgot what I looked like. Moving on to this uh, little piece of news, basically um, this is a little surprising for me. So supposedly we're going to be getting a Coffee Lake refresh sometime next year. Now um, obviously these sources aren't yet confirmed, this can be kind of conjecture at this point, but in terms of rumors, it, um, you know, more of them have been true than not over the last, I'd say 12 to 16 months, definitely in the PC tech world. Um, obviously, we know with the 1070 Ti, um, they said that that wasn't overclockable and ended up being just, well, the manufacturers couldn't overclock them out of the box. You had to overclock them yourselves, but they were, in fact, unlocked. So take it with a grain of salt, but if you go down through this article, basically they're making the claim that we're going to be seeing um, some new Intel chips coming out that are going to boast 8-core 16-thread similar to Ryzen 7, an i5 upgrade to 6-core 12-thread similar to Ryzen 5, and an i3 which is basically 4-core 8-threads, which is pretty interesting because that's probably going to be about the same performance as a last-gen, um, and when I say last-gen, I'm using Skylake or Kaby Lake, obviously, there, 4-core um, 8-thread processor in terms of performance, which would be pretty nuts for an i3. Now, as far as just with kind of the placement of all this, it would make sense because Intel's kind of been on their heels with Ryzen, um, and, you know, to the detriment of Intel fans because they've been having to do upgrade cycles, it feels like, every four months. But if this is true, it would be interesting take because the only 8-core uh, CPUs that we knew we were going to get for sure were, were supposedly going to be on the Ice Lake, but that was going to be a slightly different die, so we're going to have to upgrade to the new 3, uh, or sorry, the Z390 chipset in order to take advantage of that. According to this, if this Coffee Lake refresh is in fact real, it's going to be on the same chipset, but it supposedly might be the same die which I don't know if they've had this in the works, but as far as I knew, the next uh, iterations from Intel were going to be Cannon Lake and Ice Lake. So I'm, I'm really hoping that if this news is in fact um, true, that um, it's a little better released, obviously, than what has been uh, coming out from Intel, because I'll tell you, it's not like, I mean, if Intel provides uh, compelling value, I'll switch right back off of Ryzen, but for right now, it's, I still feel like Ryzen is the way to go. Um, just because I don't like sinking money every four months into a brand new platform or a brand new CPU, uh, you know, and Intel has been scrambling to try to come up with an answer to the disruption that Ryzen's had in the market this year. So, I mean, if they do do, uh, if they do a, uh, you know, a refresh for Coffee Lake, I just hope that it's well managed. I hope it's a much better release, and maybe they'll use this as a stopgap between now and Ice Lake. Maybe they want a little more time to, you know, for the next iteration on the smaller die. Uh, you know, who knows, right, as far as for the processor die. So we'll see going into next year. But a little piece of interesting information, um, which obviously is always good to kind of keep up on. Um, but anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this brief video. If you did, leave me a big thumbs up. If you didn't, go ahead and leave me a thumbs down. Get subscribed either way and leave a comment. Uh, I can't tell you how much the support of everyone who's been giving me feedback and subscribing. It's been tremendous. I'm growing literally every day now. It's exciting for me, guys, um, and I hope that we get to see you next time here on Geared Inc.